Wannabe and the Miniature Mouth Monster Mission. Hi there, I'm Barnaby, and I love teeth. That might sound a little weird, but it's true. And I want everyone I care about to love them too. So, instead of being outside in the apple orchard on one particularly beautiful spring day, I sat at my lab bench thinking about how to make oral health more interesting. I thought and I thought until my brain started to hurt, when suddenly a glint from my microscope sparked an idea. I wondered what the war against plaque would look like through the microscope. That certainly sounded exciting. I let my imagination wander. What if I built a high-tech battle pod that could be shrunk down to microscopic size? As the pilot, I'd have the latest state-of-the-art weaponry at my fingertips. Bacteria blasting brushes, fluoride phases, and plaque pounders. I could even command an entire squadron of pods. As squadron commander Barnaby, I'd address my troops. We, the valiant bees of Squadron 2B, have been entrusted with a very important mission. This is a tooth. As we'll be defending it with our lives, it's worth knowing a little about it. A tooth can be divided into two parts. The crown, above the gum, and the root, below the gum. Sensitive nerves and blood vessels run up through the roots and are protected by a hard but porous wall of dentine. Dentine is harder than bone. This is capped by a hard white armour called enamel. Study it well. I was really onto something here. Oral health was looking more exciting by the second. Now that we'd had a good look at teeth, I figured it was time to begin studying bacteria. It's always important to understand your enemy before going into battle. A profile of the enemy has been uploaded to your onboard computers. Our intelligence suggests that there are over 100 million microbes of at least 600 different species living in every milliliter of saliva, uh, that's spit, inside every human mouth. Fortunately for us, most of them are friendlies. Today, we are concerned with this nasty piece of work. Streptococcus mutans, or S-mutans for short. It is an acid-spitting, enamel-dissolving monster that has the ability to self-replicate at an astounding rate. S-mutants feed on the things people love to eat, namely sugars. All kinds of treats, fizzy drinks and sports drinks are like a superfood to the enemy, fueling their numbers and attack strength. If we are to protect our precious teeth, we must reduce the enemy's access to this fuel source. Fortunately for us, the S-mutants have a plan of attack we understand. They attach themselves to the biofilm that forms on the tooth's surface. As they feed off sugars, they ooze a powerful acid that can eat through the outer layers of enamel and dentine and into the nerve center of the tooth. If they are not forcibly removed within a 12-hour period, the damage they cause is irreversible. Left long enough, they will form their own shield. We know this as plaque, and it is very strong. We must not let the S-mutants establish a base on our teeth. Is that clear? Sir, sir yes, sir. sir! I can't hear you. Sir, sir yes, sir. sir! That's better. This was all starting to seem impossible. How could we ever win a battle against such a powerful enemy? It was just then that I remembered our number one weapon against bacteria, fluoride. <clears throat> Listen here, I know the enemy we're about to face is cunning and ruthless, but take heart. We are equipped with the greatest weapon against tooth decay known to man. 
We know who the enemy is. We know what fuels it. And we know its plan of attack. Well, we have a little plan of our own. One, restrict the enemy's fuel supply. Two, drink fluoridated water to make the environment difficult for the enemy to operate in. Three, brush at least every 12 hours with full strength fluoride toothpaste to keep the enemy from establishing a base on teeth. Four, brush for two minutes each time to ensure all excess fuel cells and enemies hiding between teeth and under the gum line are removed. Five, have routine checkups at dental headquarters to make sure everything is in order. Okay, troops, take up your positions and ready yourselves for the most intense two-minute battle of your lives. Let's hope there's no excess sugar floating around. Here they come. Ready weapons. Attack! Engage bacteria blasting brushes. Go fluoride phasers. Power up plaque pounders. Victory! Ha <laughs> Yes! And from that day on, everyone in the orchard came to love their teeth a little more and made looking after them an important part of their day. And they couldn't wait for my next toothlating adventure. Thanks for reading.